Right, this video is about the alternator on this car that I'm not allowed to say came from Africa. Apparently people get upset about it. I think you better live with it. Anyway, that said, um, I took it down to a repair shop and they repaired it and there was all sorts of things wrong with it. As I expected, the rectifier pack was shot. Uh, something to do with the diode here. Also, the brushes on the alternator, uh, on the um, pack here, regulator pack, no good, junk. We also changed the bearings. This is the little bearing that goes in the end, and this is the bearing that goes on the front cover. I want you to listen carefully. Dry as a bone. So, I put it on, I've tested it, and um, it works really, really well. So I'm sorry I lost the files when I was doing this, but there you go. But it was, it was cost effective for me to shop it out. I had it back in two hours, which is pretty good. An hour and a half, two hours or something like that by the time I could get down there and pick it up. Uh, it's local, they had all the bits on the shelf, they have all the tools, test equipment, everything. So it's not really worth my time. And also, they will uh, guarantee it. So it's not too bad of a problem, is it? So. Anyway, I'll, I'll show you a bit of a rambling when, when I got this on. Um, but at least it doesn't, the battery's not going to go flat now, so that's a good thing. Anyway, let's see what else I had to say. <laughs> so I fitted the new alternator to this uh, truck and just a few little notes. I have disconnected these wires that went to the alternator and I don't care where they go because they shouldn't be there. This is all hacked in, this isn't part of the criteria. So I'm not going to fix that. Um, I've got to get this car out today because I've got another job. I've not heard from the owner for the last three days. So I don't know what's going to happen. But anyway, fitting an alternator. Um, things you should know. Obviously, you disconnect your battery whilst you're fitting the alternator. But whilst you're doing that, charge the battery up. It is most important when you're doing any alternator repairs to have the alternator charged, uh, to have the battery charged up, sorry, before you fit the alternator. Why is that? Because you'll start to overload the alternator if you try to boost it off a flat battery. It's never good. So, you know, they sort of need a little bit of breaking in, if you see what I mean. Now, on a 200 TDI, they have uh, a little issue with uh, the light on the dash. Oh, well, that proved me wrong. But sometimes when you get these cars, the charge light stays on and all you've got to do is blip it. That's really from a cold start. So that proved me wrong, but it's been doing it most of the morning. Next thing. When we had a look under this vehicle, uh, the ground strap that going from the body to the chassis was just a twisted wire going around some uh, bolts. That's not good. So what I've done is I've put a captive nut down here, if you can see, uh, onto the chassis. There was already an existing hole in there, so I just used it and put a captive nut into it and put a ground strap onto there. These cables are not for starting. These are not starting cables, but it'll do for a body ground because it's lower amperage, if you see what I mean. But at least now we know that the engine and all the running geary type thing is fastened to the chassis. From the chassis, everything then will be fastened to the bulkhead and all the electrics. So that is good. Now... We'll start it up again, and we'll listen to this uh, engine. I don't like the way it goes woom woom woom, it should go bang straight away. If you've noticed, I've knocked down a lot of noise on this engine by tightening up a few bolts, so it's a little bit better. But it still vibrates, and the reason for that is because it hasn't got an engine mount on it. Uh, the engine mount's missing. Again, not part of the job description on this job. Uh, the alternator belt is sort of not too bad, there's still a bit of adjustment left, but you won't be able to adjust it anymore because it's tight against this pipe. So, just that's just a quick few notes on alternators. That was money well spent, and that should be good for a long time. So we'll sign this off, get it out, and let's get the next one in. <laughs>